Hello, my friends. Um, how's it going? So, what I wanted to talk to y'all about is that thing I teased yesterday. That big news. Um, so, the big news is I am teaching a four-week poetry course, intensive workshop, whatever word you put on a thing to make it go. Um, basically, it will be, um, I'll give you the lowdown and then I'll give you uh, my reasoning, I guess. Um, so it's four weeks, um, two nights a week for two hours um, online, and I'll tell you what we're going to go over a little bit later, but, um, after all this, we're going to do a live virtual poetry reading, um, at the end of the course, and then the people who take the course are going to be put into an anthology, a paperback anthology, um, of all the people from the class, this is the only class that is out there from what I've looked up and gathered that doesn't focus on like different types of poetry, different types of form and things like that. What it's focusing on mainly is you and how you see the world, how you emote, how you, how you feel and how to get that from you onto the paper in a clear and concise way. Um, so, and then all the other stuff that's added and there's like bonus shit you get with it. There's like a, you get a chat book about, um, like my thoughts on writing and publishing and stuff like that to go along with it, but I want to read to you kind of the thing. So this course deal is called um, Poetic Anarchy. It took me and my team a while to come up with this because a lot of the words I wanted to use are flagged words that um, get you... Um, like banned or like flagged when you're like doing Google searches and stuff. So, um, that was funny. Okay. So I'm going to read to you what I wrote when I was kind of pitching this idea. Um, I believe there's true art out there, true art that has been silenced by preconceived notions about what art is and what art can be. The literati for far too long has perpetrated the charade that how you say is better than what you say, and this is complete bullshit. How many of you have loved a poem because of how many syllables it had in it or the meter it used? Uh, probably none of you, but I bet some of you have fallen in love with those same poems because of what was said, the feeling behind the words, and the impact it had on your life. This is poetry. This is art. Now is the time. The competition is nil. If you have been afraid of poetry because you have been programmed to not understand it, this is the time for you to step up, to take control of your own thoughts, and share them with a hungry world who has been starved on a steady diet of trite shit. Poetry isn't safe. Poetry should make you bleed. It should scare you because of the things it can make you do. I believe poetry to be the loaded gun that points cocked and loaded into the mouth of our backwards society. And that's kind of the, uh, the spiel I gave. 
Um, so, to kind of go over, like, what, um, what the classes are going to kind of entail. Um, so, if, if you watched any of my um, writing tip videos, a lot of what I'm going to be going over kind of were rooted from those videos. So, like, um, working on your creativity and how to just get you to sit and create, basically. Um, what else we got here? Um, the difference between um, journalism and poetry, because um, that's something that comes up a lot, especially when you're doing, like, free-form kind of stuff. Um, subjective versus objective art. Um, finding your voice, finding your blood. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, simplicity versus agony. Um, that's kind of a big one, too. Um, a social media mentality. Um ritual versus habitual uh kind of um deals when you're writing um how to deal with fear of your fear of what you write and then fear of the judgment of what you write um and then how to deal with um certain topics like love and hate and things like that in your work. Um, and then we're going to do some fun little, um, homework assignments. And, um, <laughs> I don't want to give all those away, but, um, it, it, it should be, um, interesting to say the least. So this is just to really, like, I really think that like, I can help you do these things or else I want to fucking do it. And, on top of that, like, I would love, love so much to find new, good poetry to read. If you are easily offended, um, I would suggest you not do this. Um, just because, like, the whole the whole style, the whole open community of how the class setting is going to be. It's going to be very important um, for us to not judge or criticize um, somebody's work to the point of judging and criticizing them as a person. I mean, there obviously won't be any overt, um, horrific things and people with horrific ideas and crap like that. Like, I'm not going to put up with that kind of crap. But, um, as far as it just being like an open and free space to, um, just like rip your fucking chest open and share whatever the fuck you want to share. Like this, this whole thing is like almost, um, more philosophy of what art is and what poetry is and what it can be. And, um, almost like life lessons, you know, um, through this. So, um, I think you're going to get tons out of it. Um, the readings, the anthology at the end, all this stuff, there's a lot, um, of pros, not pros like words, but like pros versus cons that you're going to get out of this. And then, um, because this is like the first class I'm doing, um, the price for it is very low and, um, it's kind of like a me getting my feet wet and, um, in doing this stuff, like I've taught other things before and, but this is the first time I'm doing anything like this. 
And so it's kind of um, a thing for me to learn from the class as well. So um, that's going to be interesting. But because of that, the price is low. And then if you sign up this week, um, I'll put the link in the description. You get um, another 50 bucks off of it. So um, it's kind of... You're, you're getting a lot of me for um, not that much <laughs> and then um, so that's that's the that's the sales pitch there but um, and there's also some like kind of lifetime crap you get with this and um, so that's gonna be fun and cool but um, if when you use the cu the coupon code, um, the link should, when you click on it, already um, put it in. But if you get to the Podia site a different way or something like that, and then um, if you have the coupon code to put in, it's early bird 50. Um, one word, early bird 50. The number is 50, like 50. Um, so um know that and then um is there anything else and if you have any questions about any of this let me know down below because i would love to because it's like i know already what the what the course is going to be and like what we're going to be going over and all this stuff and because i don't want to share too much of it <laughs> um in this forum um Sometimes I feel like I might leave stuff out that um, could be horribly important. So if you have questions, please ask because um, it'll help you because you get the answers, but it'll help me to also show me things that I can share in future times of doing this. And if this works out, I would love to do this not all the time, but like a couple times a year or something like that, um, I think it would be a lot of fun. So, Poetic Anarchy, it starts June 22nd, um, and we meet every Tuesday and Thursday for like two hours and um, for four weeks, and let's kick some ass and shit. So, um, just... Click the link down below, and it'll take you to the page, and, and it'll give you a lot more information than I gave you right here. So um, let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you guys later.